Oh, hey there. So, <clears throat> I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday and I saw something else posted today and I thought, you know, maybe it's time to address this issue because I think it'll be helpful for everybody, okay? A friend of mine called me complaining, saying, look, all these people owe me all this money and now I'm going through hardship and, you know, they're not paying me back. And she goes, I could pay my truck off with the amount of money that's owed to me, not counting this money I've given or the help I've done, but just how much I've loaned to people. I could pay my truck off. I'm like, yeah, you're right. And, uh, you know, I've talked to other people that the number's higher. And like in my particular case, if I was paid back all the money that's owed to me right now, not the money that I've given away, not the money that's been charity, but like just what's owed to me right now, I could retire and never work again. And that's not unrealistic. Now, <clears throat> I've come to the point in my personal life where I don't loan out any more money because, and my grandmother used to have a saying, why do you hate me? I haven't helped you yet. Okay, a lot of people, they're like your best friend when they need some money, right? Like, oh, buddy, friend, I'll do anything for you. I'll come like lick your shoes or whatever. I'm like, you know, that's unnecessary. And then as soon as the money changes hand from my hand to their hand, then something magical happens and their phone breaks and it's, they stop answering. Like, I don't know if their phone breaks or what. And then every disaster in the world happens to them. Their hamster gets cancer or I don't even know what, but for some reason, the two day loan that they need is gonna now stretch out to five years. Which of course is frustrating for me, right? I don't want it to chase you down. I don't want it to be mean to you, right? My friend decided to go the, the more harsh route. And I was like, that wisdom tells you not to do that. Nevertheless, Here's what I'm suggesting to you, okay? In Proverbs, the Bible says this, <clears throat> if you return evil for good, evil will never leave your house, okay? I wanna say that again for the people in the back. If you return evil for good, evil will never leave your house. Now, how does this apply to what I'm talking about? Somebody had mercy on you. Somebody sacrificed money that they could have kept for themselves, money that they worked hard for, to help you in a bad situation. Let me explain which side of the fence that lands on. That lands on the good side of the fence. They have done good for you. They helped you when you needed it. And if you return evil for that, by ignoring them, ghosting them, not paying them, villainizing them and demonizing them for trying to get their own money back that you said you'd give back to them long ago and they've been nothing but patient with you, evil will never leave your house. That's a harsh thing, okay? That's not us hating on you. That's God going, look, you got a debt, pay it. And until you do pay it, I'm gonna curse what you do have. I'm gonna make sure that you're not happy. You're not content. You wanna go, you owe that person X amount of dollars, and instead you wanna go on vacation and post that on social media where that person can see it. You wanna go buy things that you don't need, things that we all know that you don't need, and still you don't pay your bills back. That's not good. That doesn't look good on you, okay? You're better than that. And so for me personally, I've come to the point where I'm like, look, I don't wanna wish that pain upon you. I don't want you to be cursed. I don't want your phone to be broken. You need a phone that works, so I'm just not gonna loan you any money. Sell something, hustle, have lower needs, okay? That's a real thing. And stop borrowing money that you don't have. And if you do borrow money from somebody, you pay that money back quickly. You better not go out and buy something else. You don't go, if you show up and you got a new TV, you got a new car, you got a new vacation, you just went backstage to your favorite band's, you know, concert, and anybody can see that, they're not gonna be happy with you. I'm very nice, I'm very forgiving. I'm like, hmm, I, I do this. Really? I'll remember that. But I'm not gonna hold it against you. I just am like, that's where your priorities lie. Hmm. I will never loan you money again. But at this point, I'm probably not gonna loan anybody any money. So here's my advice to you. If you've loaned money to people, I'm sorry. This is a the human nature for some reason. It's horrible, it's bad, but this is the position that you're stuck in. If you have borrowed money from somebody and you haven't paid it back, evil will never leave your house until you get that right. And as much as you try to hide it, you think, aha, I got away with it. You didn't get away with anything. God sees. Love you guys.